Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Green. In this lesson, we're going to look at inverse matrices. Let's start with the definition. If the product of two matrices is equal to the identity matrix, then we can say that the two matrices are inverse matrices. For example, let's say you have these two matrices for A and B. The product of A times B is equal to the product of B times A, which equals the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. So we can say that A and B are inverse matrices. Now that we know what inverse matrices look like, let's talk about how to find them. To find an inverse matrix, you can use this little formula. If you have a matrix, we'll call the elements A, B, C, and D, then the inverse of that matrix can be found using this formula. Let's use the formula on this example where A is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix 6, 2, negative 3, 1. We want to find A inverse. So to find A inverse, we need to write 1 over the product of A times D, which is 6 times 1, minus the product of B times C, 2 times negative 3. And we're going to multiply that fraction by this new matrix where we switch around A and D. So we're going to switch 6 and 1, and we make B and C opposite. So we'll have negative 2 and positive 3. Let's simplify this expression now. On the bottom of our fraction, we have 6 times 1, which is 6, minus 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. We still have the same matrix. And continuing on, our fraction will be 1 12th. 6 minus negative 6 is the same as 6 plus 6. So we're going to multiply 1 12th times our matrix, 1, negative 2, 3, 6. When we do that, we get the inverse of A, which is 1 12th, negative 1 6th, 1 4th, 1 half. So we have found A inverse. Now let's finish up by talking about this special note. For any matrix in the form A, B, C, D, if the product of A times D minus the product of B times C is equal to 0, then the inverse does not exist. So look out for this spe special situation when you're working out your problems. Well, this wraps up the lesson on inverse matrices. Great job and good luck on the rest of your homework. You can get more Algebra 2 help by signing up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you later. Great job.